Okay, so I'm going to do a, um, a breathing exercise to start that is a very similar effect to the alternate nostril breathing that we've done before, but it's really nice to help the body cool down in summer. It's going to probably feel a little silly, so feel free to keep your eyes closed the whole time, but I wanted to introduce this as it's starting to get hot out because especially going through that third trimester in the, the really intense periods of summer, it can get hot. And it's nice to have just a quick um, trick in your toolbox to help you cool down. So go ahead and let your eyes close. Just feel your hips start to sink down into what you're sitting on. And letting those hips stay nice and heavy just start to lengthen in the spine. So you can almost imagine that you're walking up vertebrae by vertebrae, starting in the low back, feeling the spine lengthen, feeling the mid back lengthen. As you feel that upper back start to lengthen, you can take your shoulders and just round them back and down. And then keep going vertebrae by vertebrae all the way through the back of the neck. And then imagining that your crown is reaching towards the ceiling. I sometimes picture that I'm a marionette hanging by a string. And you might notice that your chin slightly tucks when you do that to give you that nice natural curve in the back of the neck. So here with a nice long spine, I just want you to take some deep breaths in the nose and out the mouth, just very simple. Just starting to let the body settle down. Letting your mind know that we're starting our practice. So it's okay to let go of all those tight thoughts. It's okay to let those emotions start to quiet down. And before we begin our breath work, let's go ahead and check in with baby. So bring a hand to the heart and a hand to baby. Inviting them to enjoy this practice with us. And just noticing what you feel with that hand over them. Maybe feeling that movement inside. Maybe lulling them to sleep with those deep breaths. And with a hand on the heart and a hand on the belly, you can feel that energetic connection of your heart and their heart. Really being grateful for this time when you have two hearts beating in one body. And from here, if you'd like to set an intention for your practice today, it's a great time to do so. Thinking perhaps about something you want to focus on during practice or something you want to take with you when you leave your practice today. Good. So for this exercise, you're welcome to leave the hands right where they are, or if you want to place them back down on the legs, you can. And so we're going to um, open the mouth and let the tongue come out in a curled shape. If you can't curl your tongue, that's okay. You can leave it flat. But if you can curl your tongue, imagine that it's a straw 
And we're going to breathe in and out through that straw. So as I said before, it might feel a little silly at first, but see if you can keep your eyes closed and just focus on lengthening the breath in and out through that straw. As you're inhaling, allowing that breath to fill the whole body, so the belly, the ribs, and up to the collarbones. Very similar to when we do our Dirga breathing, that full body breath. Exhale should be nice and gentle allowing the body to empty completely without forcing it. And what we're doing is with that tongue being in that curled shape, it cools the air as we inhale it through the mouth. So we get nice, cool, refreshing air through the body. It can be helpful to add a visual here too. So you can imagine that you're drinking through a nice cold glass of water or picturing ice as you inhale, almost as if you stuck your head in a freezer and you're taking those nice long breaths of that cold frigid air. We'll do just a few more of these at your pace, nice and slow. And after your next breath, just allowing the breath to be neutral Tongue can be relaxed in the mouth. And just noticing any shifts or changes in the body. And as you're ready, inhaling, eyes open. So that's a really nice exercise if you do feel that you are um, overheated both in pregnancy and also during birthing. It can be nice to kind of calm everything down while you're in your birthing time too. So let's bring in some movement. As you're ready on an inhale, arms rise, gaze rise. Exhale, take a twist to one side. And we're gonna bring movement in here. So keep on going, inhales bring you forward and up. Exhales, we twist, just waking up that spine. Maybe twisting a little bit more each time, but never really forcing it. Good. One more each side. Great, coming back to center. Let those legs come out. You can remove what you're sitting on. And just go ahead and shake them out a little bit. Mm 
You can flop the feet in and out, starting to get into that hip joint. Good. Great. And then go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together. And taking a hold of the ankles, inhale the spine nice and long. And as you exhale, just hinging at the hips, any amount, it might just be a centimeter, that's fine. Just whatever your body will let you do today. Trying to keep a straight back at first. And then when you're at a nice sweet spot, go ahead and let the head come forward, let the back round. A couple of nice deep breaths in the nose and out the mouth here. Good, next inhale brings you up. And we're gonna come onto our knees. And if you'd like, you can place your towel or thin blanket right underneath those knees. We're gonna stay long on the blanket here. So we're not getting into our traditional tabletop. I just want you to sit down. If it's uncomfortable at all sitting on the ankles, you can always sit down on a block instead. And you can have your knees as wide as they need to be to, for your hips to feel comfy. So don't feel like you need to have them together. Great. We're gonna inhale, arms come up, interlace fingers, flip the palms. Now check in with your low back. Can you drop your hips and lengthen your low back? Good. Now go ahead and look down and pull those arms back. One full breath here. And next, inhale, rise. Let the arms come down. Interlace behind if you can and pull down. Look up. And just start to move that neck around a little bit. So making nice, slow yeses. Moving an ear to the spine or to the shoulders. Just whatever feels good. Starting to open up through the neck and through the shoulders. Great. Release, shake the hands out. Okay. So we're gonna bring one leg out and coming into our half gate pose here. Great. Gonna inhale here. And as we exhale, we're gonna start that little seesaw. We've done this guy before. So we inhale through center. We exhale, come into the other side. Just back and forth. When your hand is down, see if that upper arm can really reach across, starting to open up through the ribs. Nice. Good, and then the next time the hand is down, let it stay down. And we're gonna take that top arm and just start to circle it around. You can let the head hang here, so ears coming towards your shoulder. And you can reverse the direction. Good. Now on the next inhale, let that arm come up so your arms are in a T shape. And now hug baby into spine as you inhale, lift that straight leg up, flex through the foot. Go ahead and start some little circles, starting to wake up the hips and also wake up the core here. Good, reversing the circles. Great. And then placing that foot back down, we're gonna inhale, rise, and bring that knee in. So you can stay right where you are and just come into a table here. Since I get cut off by the camera, I'm just gonna turn to the side. So you're in a table here and I want you to bring your hands farther forward than usual and start to roll those hips. 
So we're just making big, big circles with the hips here. Really waking up that joint. And then as you're ready, reversing those circles. Good. Coming to stillness, we're going to come back up on the knees again. Inhale, arms rise, gaze rises. Let's go ahead and flip those palms again. Now that we're up on the knees and look down, pull back. Good. Next, inhale, arms are going to fall back. You can interlace if that's comfortable. Pull down again, and this time we're going to turn the head side to side. So try to let yourself move with breath. One breath per movement. Nice. Great, and then release and shake out the hands, the wrists, the arms. Great. All right, we're going to take it to the other side. So this time, bring the opposite leg straight. Arms are going to come out. And we're going to start that little seesaw action on an exhale. So exhaling, one hand comes down, the other comes up and over. And then we come back to the other side. Inhales, we move through center. Exhales, we lean and reach. Moving at whatever pace feels good today. And especially if you are dealing with any of that nausea right now, you can go super duper slow. And you can always just do it statically where you're not moving. So choose what makes sense for you today. Good, the next time your hand is down, let it stay down. And we're going to start to just circle the arm, nice big circles. Let the head be heavy. Head and neck do not need to hold on here. Nice. Reversing the circles as you're ready. Good, and then letting that arm come up into a T. And we're gonna hug baby in, inhale that leg high, flexing through the foot, and start to go ahead and get some circles going in one direction. They can be super small. If you want them to be big, you can, but it's totally up to you. Good, reversing that direction as you're ready. Nice, bringing that leg down on an inhale, come on back up into your half gate. And we're gonna bring the legs, the knees fairly wide here so that you can come down into a child. Again, I'm gonna turn, but you don't have to. Inhale, arms rise to start. Exhale, sit back into those heels, come into a nice, deep, wide child's pose. Head comes all the way down to the mat. Stretching those hands out towards 12 o'clock. If you can bring them so the thumbs touch or are at least close, you'll get more of a stretch through the ribs. And then I want you to come back to that breathing we did at the beginning. So opening the mouth, curling the tongue, and just take three nice breaths through the tongue. 
Feeling the whole body. Good. Next inhale, we're going to walk the hands back to help us sit up. And then sitting up here, we're going to come back into our half gate. So going back to that first leg, letting that come straight and letting the arms come wide. Beautiful. On an exhale, bring that hand down to the mat. Top arm reaches up. And so I'm going to give you three options for a side plank. You can just take that top arm, reach it overhead, keep that knee down, and that can be your side plank. You could lift up that straight leg and flex and hold. You could switch your feet so that your top foot is over. This is going to be a little more of a challenge. And you can take the full plank if you want as well. Good. Nice. Beautiful. And if you're really going for extra credit, you're always welcome to lift a leg. Totally up to you. We're going to hold for one more breath. Good. And then we're going to come on down. Inhale up from both knees and just rotate the wrists a little bit as the arms flow. Good. All right, let's take it to the other side. Inhale, open up and let that opposite leg come long. We're going to exhale, bring the hand down, top arms overhead. And you've got your choices again. Here's choice one. Choice two, you can just lift that leg. Choice three, you've got that top leg down. And then choice four is going to be your full side plank. Nice. Long, deep breaths here. You are a strong mama. One more breath. Nice job coming out nice and safely back to the knees. And we're gonna take it back into that child. So knees are gonna come nice and wide. Inhale up. Exhale, we let those hips come down to the heels. And your choice for arms here, if you like having them in front of you, great. If you want more of a rest for the wrist and the hands, you can come into a more traditional child with the arms by your side. We're going to do three more breaths through the tongue here. Cool that body down. Good. On an inhale, using the hands to help you come back upright into sitting. And we're going to get on our hands and our knees so that we can then get our feet out into a wide forward fold stance. So the feet are going to come out as wide as you are comfy with. I know we're doing a lot in the long ways today. <laughs> Good. All right. And come into your wide leg forward fold. So letting your upper body hang from your hips and choosing a good place for your hands. If you want that extra stability, you can keep the hands right under the shoulders. Or if you prefer to have them going towards the feet or behind you, I trust that you'll make the right decision for yourself. Just feeling how that body changes a bit when you go into a safe inversion like this. Good, one more breath. 
And then inhaling, bring those hands in front and under you. We're going to bring the heels in a little bit, 45 degrees. And we're just going to start to come down to one side or another. Now, if this um, blanket is bothering you in the middle, you're welcome to remove it. We're going to be on our feet for a bit here, so we don't need it anymore. Good. So you're going nice and slowly here. Nothing has to be forced. But this is kind of like a little check-in. How are those hips doing? Does one side maybe feel a little different than the other? And you can keep it right here, or if you have the flexibility, you're welcome to start coming down into that half yogic squat. Just taking it nice and slowly. If you are feeling any zippiness um, in your pelvis and that pubic, pubic symphysis area, then I want you just to back off a little bit. Good. Great, and if you're able to come into that half squat comfortably, we're gonna take one full breath on each side now. So coming down, good, and a nice full breath. Using that exhale to really release the legs. And then inhaling up through center, exhaling over to the other side. And once again, a nice full breath here. Good, inhaling back through center, parallel those feet. We're gonna fold for just another moment here. So one more nice deep breath. And then bringing the heels in again, bending those knees, bring the elbows to the knees to start. Just take a nice breath here with a flat back, good. As long as you feel stable, keeping that back flat, inhale, push through the feet, rise all the way up, arms come up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Let's bring a hand to the heart and a hand to baby. And pause here for a moment now that we're up in our legs. If you're feeling at all uneasy, you can leave the eyes open. Or if you feel nice and stable, you can let the eyes close. And just take a moment to reconnect back with baby, back with your intention. Good. Inhale, eyes open. Bring those heels in 45 degrees again. And on your next inhale, arms come up. Exhale, bending knees and elbows, coming into goddess. Inhale, lengthen out five point star. Exhale, bring us into goddess. So let's start a flow right here. Follow your breath as you just flow between star and goddess. Going whatever speed feels good. So it can be super slow, that's fine. Or you can speed it up if you want to. It is also up to you how much into a squat you get. Any amount is still going to help strengthen your core and strengthen those legs. Good. Okay, and the next time you come into goddess, I want you to wrap the right elbow underneath the left eagle arms. We're going to stay with the knees bent and just sway side to side. Great, next inhale, open up five-pointed star. 
Exhale, coming back to goddess. Now wrap the left elbow under the right, eagle arms and sway. And the more you lift the elbows here, the more you'll get that stretch back into your, your back ribs. Good. Feeling baby flow with you side to side. Next inhale, open up five pointed star. And then coming back with a hand on the heart and a hand to baby. Let's just take one more moment to feel that energy flowing through our body and calm down the pulse. Good. All right, so we're gonna get into some of those squats and pelvic floor work here. So as you inhale, arms gonna come up. Exhale, hands are gonna come through heart center as we come down to the ground. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. So it's like we're pulling energy down through the body, down through baby, down to the ground. And now you can start to add in your pelvic floor work here. I'm gonna inhale, relax the pelvic floor. Exhale, draw it up, up, up. Inhales, relax. Exhales, draw the pelvic floor up and in. Good. One more. Nice. Inhale, arms rise, exhale, let a hand come to the heart, hand to ba baby. And let's come back to that straw breath. So curling the tongue, three breaths in and out through the curled tongue. Cooling the body down. Good, releasing there. So this time we're gonna reverse the motion here. So I'm gonna exhale, come down. Inhale, pull that energy up through baby, up through the body. Exhaling down. And then adding in that pelvic floor it's up to you. You can stay with that idea of um, tightening the pelvic floor on the exhales. I'm going to reverse it this time and do it on the inhales. So as I inhale, I draw that pelvic floor up and in. Exhale, release completely. Good, going at the pace that feels good for you. Good, one more time. Great, and then heel toe those feet in a bit, bringing a heart, a hand to the heart and a hand to baby once more, letting the eyes close, letting yourself release in the legs, in the hips, in the belly. Good. 
Inhaling, let the eyes open. We're gonna come into a warrior two here. So you're gonna widen those legs again and let one leg turn out. Arms are nice and parallel and you're looking over that front arm. And we're gonna bring this into a flow. So let the front elbow come down, top arm rainbows overhead, very similar to what we did on the floor. Inhale, coming back to warrior two, flipping that front palm, we're gonna come into peaceful warrior. I like to have one hand holding baby here. It's up to you. Inhaling back to two. Now straighten that front leg. We're gonna come into triangle. So if you need a block here, please have one handy. Good, and we're gonna reach forward as far as we can in the hips, and then come on down to the block, to the floor, or to your shin. Nice. Letting yourself really grow here. If it feels comfy, you can lean back a little bit, getting more of a chest opener. Using your breath to keep your body calm. Good, one more breath. And as you inhale, bend into that front knee and use the legs to lift you back into warrior two. Good, pivoting on that back foot, you can either have the heel down or be like me up in crescent. Make sure that your feet are wide apart so that you have plenty of stability here in warrior one. And as you exhale, let the arms come back, spinning the thumbs back. Take a moment to check in with your low back. If you feel like it's really arching, let the hips be heavy. Try to find that nice neutral arch. One more breath. Inhaling, arms rise. And we're gonna add in a little bit of movement here. So as we exhale, we're gonna come down, making sure belly is on the inside of the leg. Inhale as we rise. You can go as slow as you need to here. Good, we're gonna do just one more time. You're doing great. Good, next inhale, you come up, leave the arms up. Drop that back heel if it's up, coming back into our warrior two. So I'm gonna give an option here. We've been warming up to prepare for, um, for our half moon but it's really up to you whether you feel up to it today. You don't feel like you have to do it. But if you'd like to take the half moon with me, go ahead and place a block near the front of the mat. And if you wanna skip it, that's fine. You can hang out in warrior two for a moment or take a side angle. And then as you exhale, we're gonna bring the hand to that block and go as slowly as you need to here. So step, step, step that foot in before you lift it. So honestly, for today, if this is your half moon and you wanna keep the feet down, that's fine. If you're feeling more adventurous and you do wanna rise up, just hug baby in as you do it. And when you feel done, you're just gonna come out as slowly as you can finding your warrior two again. Nice, mama, good, great, that is not easy. All right, so we're gonna parallel the feet. You're in a nice wide leg stance here. And we're just gonna let our bodies release into a forward fold again. So exhaling, coming down, knees are soft, head is hanging. And let's come back to that straw breath. So nice, slow inhales through the tongue. 
cooling down. Good. Bending in those knees, bring the elbows to the knees, nice flat back. And then as you're ready, you're going to come all the way up, pressing through the feet, inhaling arms high, exhaling hands through heart center. And let's take that pause, hand comes to the heart, hand comes to baby. Really let yourself enjoy the pause. What can you let go of? Good. Inhaling to open the eyes and to prepare to do this on the other side. If you'd like to have your block on the other side of your mat, you're welcome to. So you might be backwards for this. It's totally your call. And we are going to come into warrior two on the other side. Good. So bending into that knee, feeling that warrior strength, hugging baby in here. Be proud of what your body can still do. And bringing that front elbow down to the front knee will rainbow the top elbow or the top arm overhead. Feeling that length from the pinky toe on that back foot all the way up through the fingers on the top hand. Next inhale, we'll come back to warrior two. Flip that front palm, now reach forward and rainbow back, finding your peaceful warrior. You can have a hand on baby if that feels comfortable or a hand on the back leg. One more breath here. And then inhaling back to warrior two, we're gonna lengthen that front leg have your block handy if you'd like it for triangle. And we're gonna lean as far forward into those hips as we can first before we bring that hand down. Top arm rainbows overhead, triangle pose. Good, really reaching in every direction here. So letting your legs be nice and strong Letting yourself lean back a little if you feel stable. Creating so much lovely space in the body for you and for baby. One more breath. Good, and then as you inhale, bend into that front knee, use the strength of those legs to help lift you back up, warrior two. Great. So we're going to do that, um, that side angle on this side as well, or the half moon. So you're in your warrior two. Oh, you know what? I skipped warrior one. Let's do that first. So we'll stay right here in our warrior two, and we're going to pivot on that back foot, coming either into crescent or warrior one. Make sure your feet are nice and wide here so you can take a step between if you need to. And then as we exhale, we're going to let the hands come down, thumbs spin out, shoulders come down the back. And keeping a neutral low back, you can also start to arch through the chest and the heart. Good. Next, inhale, arms rise. And we're going to bring that movement in on this side. So as we exhale, we come forward, bringing the belly on the inside of the leg. Inhale, rise, so nice and slow. Unless you have a ton of energy and you wanna speed it up, you can. Good, one more. Great, staying up in warrior one and then dropping that back heel, 
opening back up into warrior two. So again, your choice with half moon. If you'd like to take it with me, then as I exhale, I'm going to bring my top hand down to my block and I'm going to really slowly step that back foot in, making sure I feel nice and secure before I choose to lift it up. And when I do lift it, I'm hugging baby in towards the spine. Knowing any amount of this is amazing. Your body is so strong. I'm choosing to hold for one more breath. And then as you're ready, coming out nice and slow until you're in your warrior two. Beautiful work, really nice. We're gonna pivot back to a wide legged forward fold. So as I exhale here, I fold. And I'm just gonna let all that energy release through my body quieting everything back down. Why don't we do two more of those tongue breaths. So inhaling through that straw, letting the body cool. And from here, we're going to heel toe the feet in and come down into a yogic squat. If you'd like to sit on a block, you can. You don't have to. You can balance. Good. We're going to bring the elbows on the inside of the knees. If you feel stable, you can let the eyes close. And let's just come back to that pelvic floor. So as we inhale, let that pelvic floor squeeze in and up like an elevator rising up, up, up. And as we exhale, release the pelvic floor completely, letting the elevator come all the way down to the basement. Keep following your pace here as you explore what you can feel when you start to engage those pelvic floor muscles and how much can you let them go you really want to find that nice balance between having a strong pelvic floor and also being able to fully release it when it is time during birth Good, why don't we do one more? Great, okay, so slowly coming out of this, we're gonna come all the way down onto our backs. And have that block nearby. And we've done a lot of work in the legs already, so we're not going to do our bridge today, but we are going to um, come up into a supported shoulder stand. So you're going to bring your feet as close to your hips as you can, as if you're going to come up into a bridge. And then you're going to press into the feet, inhale up and place that block underneath the sacrum in a place that feels nice and stable for you. And as long as you do feel stable, you're going to inhale one leg up and then the other leg will join it. And we'll start right here in stillness. So if you feel secure, you can let your eyes close. If you want more of a chest opener, you can let your palms face up. And now can you start to let go? Can you release the head? Release the face and the jaw? Can you let the whole torso completely release into your mat, into the floor? Just 
Starting to quiet the body now. Can you feel baby moving off the hips, giving you a little relief here? Letting all that blood and lymph that we generated during our practice start to come down the legs. Giving our heart and our lymph nodes a little break. And you have the choice. You can stay with the stillness. That might be exactly what you need. Or if you want to bring in some movement, you can start to let the legs flow. Flowing can be anything. It can be opening into a straddle, coming into a bound ankle, or really just letting the legs move like helicopter, bicycle. Just go inward and let your legs move how they feel good. Start to flow back towards stillness if you were moving. Starting to let that energy settle back down. Enjoying two or three more breaths just with the legs up. And then as you're ready, you'll exhale one foot down and then the other. Pressing through the feet, lift the hips, removing that block and letting the hips settle back down. We'll let the knees come wide, grabbing one knee with one hand and just rock side to side, opening up through the low back and the mid back. And let's take a little twist before we head into Shavasana. So bringing the knees up, arms come out like a T. And as you're ready, you can exhale knees to one side. You're always welcome to put a block or a pillow between the knees, especially in the later stages of pregnancy. And just find the twist that feels good. I like having my arms out today, but if you want to have a hand on that upper leg, you're welcome to. Nice deep breaths, releasing in the hips, releasing through the belly, releasing across the collarbones. And as you're ready, we'll take it to the other side. So inhaling, hugging baby in as you lift the knees up and exhale them over. Looking over the opposite shoulder. And once you're stationary, finding breath. 
opening up and letting go. Good, one more breath. And as you're ready, you'll inhale the knees up, removing the block if you had one there. And you can set up for Shavasana. So I'm gonna take that reclined Shavasana, bringing a block to the top of my mat. and using a bolster or a firm pillow. And then I have my other pillow to go underneath my knees, but it's totally up to you. You're always welcome to take this side lying as well. And I have cooled myself down enough that I am actually chilly and I'm gonna put a blanket over me. So just make sure you are nice and cozy wherever you are. Good. Taking your time to make any adjustments you need to be fully comfortable here. You really want to be able to let everything go. And we'll do a little guided meditation today. So while you're lying here nice and still, imagine that you're surrounded by light. The light can be any color you choose. And imagine that light starts to pour in through the crown of your head, filling the whole skull with light. This light releases and sends healing energy through everything it touches. Allowing that light to wrap around the eyes, to open up through the sinuses, to release the jaw. The light releases all the small muscles throughout the skull, especially where the back of the skull meets the neck. Letting that light pour down the throat, releasing all the muscles of the neck. Allowing the light to pour down the collarbones, down the shoulders, down both arms, through the elbows and the forearms, through the wrists and the hands. Allowing the light to move down through the chest and the upper back bathing the torso in light as it wraps down the ribs, down the spine, 
light softening through the sternum, the solar plexus. Light fully releasing the low back, wrapping the baby in healing, beautiful light. Bathing the whole belly in light. The light wraps down through the pelvis releasing through the pelvic floor and letting that light pour down the legs, filling the thighs, filling the knees, filling the lower legs, releasing in the ankles, and light pours down into the feet and every toe. Letting the light pour out the body through the soles of the feet and allowing the whole body now to be bathed in this beautiful light, surrounding the body and pouring in from crown to feet. Allow yourself and your baby to fully release here, to be held by this light. Let go. Beginning now to deepen the breath. Letting the light start to go from your mind's eye. As you feel yourself here in your space, on your mat. Feeling baby rise and fall with your breath. Bringing movement into fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. As you're ready, inhaling, arms overhead, nice full body stretch.
and finding the perfect way to come to your seat, really taking your time. I always like to roll to one side first, taking pauses along the way to breathe, making sure that when you do rise, you use your hands to help and you hug baby in towards the spine. Good. If you're easily able to prop your hips up on something, great, but don't go out of your way. Sitting nice and tall in your seat. Let's bring a hand back to the heart and a hand back to our baby. Feeling that connection, those two hearts in one body. And coming back to your intention here. Seeing if there's something that you'd still like to let go of. We'll take a breath together to let go of anything else we're holding on to. So as you're ready, inhaling deeply through the nose. Let it out the mouth. Let go. We can bring hands to heart center, lightly bowing the head. And we give thanks first to ourselves for coming to this practice, for honoring our body and our mind and being proud of the ways that we can still move while working so hard to grow our baby inside. By caring for ourselves, we can be more loving and caring to those around us. And we thank our baby for practicing with us, enjoying all that sweet movement and benefiting from how we relaxed our bodies and our minds. Lifting the gaze, we thank each other with a namaste. namaste.